Okay, uh, hello students. Can you all hear me? Uh, please respond in the comment. Hello, students. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for the response. Okay, let me share the screen because the internet is quite bad today. I don't know why. Let's hope for the best. Give me a moment. Eh? I'm trying to share the screen. Okay, it looks good. Okay, so we are already ready now. Okay, so sorry about today's uh, problem. I think it's a bit lagging due to some internet connection issue. Usually it will be okay, but once in a while lately, I think uh, I'm noticing a lot of problem. It's not only my house. I think most of them. All right, uh, I can see my <laughs> camera is freezed. Uh, I hope the audio can be heard. You can hear my voice. Clearly. Okay, I want you to check whether you can see the screen or not. Okay, so it can be <clears throat> seen, seen clearly. Yeah? So I assume uh, I can, if you please put in the chat, if you have any uh, issues, huh? because uh, you have to notify me if there's a technical problem. Uh, okay, let's see. This will be our paper four. Okay, so in paper four, listening, uh, today won't take much time, just a while only because nothing much to cover, but you've got to know certain things. Okay, so here there are four parts all together. Okay, so let us see. Uh, so this is what happened in the class. You know, as a teacher, the teacher always asks this uh, common question. Students, do you all understand? So what is your reply? Yes. Okay, you, you have to understand between listening and also you heard. Which is which? Okay. When you're listening, you're actually uh, comprehending, you're understanding the idea. If you're not uh, listening, you just heard it, then it's not going into a comprehension part, okay? It means now I'm talking to you, probably you're sitting in your uh, bedroom or hall or kitchen and you hear me, sorry, you are listening to me, but, but you also can hear other noises just like uh, maybe your mother shouting from the kitchen, you know, or shouting at your brother, not keeping things, you know, or your father is uh, laughing, watching some movies, okay? So all that you are hearing, 
but you're particularly with a purpose, you're listening to me. So this is what you're supposed to do during your test. Okay, don't just merely sit there, listen. Uh, it's mean you be selective in your listening, cannot. Everything is mentioned should be listened and understood. Okay, here let's see the format. Okay, they are all together, four parts. Okay, part one and part two, they are multiple choice questions. But they are a bit different. We'll go in detail later. Okay, and then part three is called matching. We're going to match the information. And then part four will be note completion. Isi tempat kosong lah. All right? So, wait. for Last check. I want to see whether everything is good. All right. Because technology is very helpful. At times, it also creates a uh, problem for us. Huh? All right. So, listening test format. Huh? So, audio tracks will be heard twice. Okay. All the part you'll be listening for two times. So, the secret is the first time you got to really listen to find the or track the answer. Okay. Second listening is to confirm the answer. Don't have the idea the first time you're listening just for, okay, get to know. It's too late because all that steps you do during your uh, tri trial, it's mean like practice time. But during exam, the first listening is really tracking the answer. Second, to confirm your answer. Okay. All right. Here, what will happen is uh, the choices given three, A, B, C. But there is a trick that uh, out of three, one will be correct correct answer. So it means A correct, B and C are considered wrong answer. But the, you can't see the error or the mistake or the wrong idea in the option. You only can see the distractor. Okay? Distractor means it sounds like correct, but they are not. They will deceive you. Manipu. Okay? So that is the trick. That's why the idea of listen and understand comes in. If you listen and you don't understand, you're obviously going to pick uh, or choose the, the uh, what do you call it, um, the distractor as you answer. Okay? So here, the total marks for this paper will be 30 marks and it will be converted into 25%. Okay? It means all four papers, you should get around B1 to B2 level. But if you get higher than that, it means you're already beyond the limit, you limit la. <laughs> level. Okay, expected level is B2, but you're getting more. It means it's a good sign. You're, you're on the right track. Okay, those who are getting like a bit lower, like A1, A2 later, a, you have to buy, like put effort a bit. You will, you already know by now what, where you are standing, what is your level and all that. Okay, if you're at the borderline, try to Listen carefully. We got about a few days more for our listening and speaking test. Do whatever necessary um, last minute practice. Okay? Get some friends. Do it together. It's okay. We have a lot of plenty of listening tasks from the workbook. Any. Okay. Teacher, but the listening task is like very difficult to comprehend because of the accent. Don't worry. Lumbaga one will be very standard. If you tell me, is it very full of accent? No. Probably it might be spoken a bit fast but not very fast it's a tolerable uh, speed okay everything is done well by lembaga so you don't worry about that okay they plan things and then they designed it of course we have different way of listening probably when you hear it or listen to it you are listening to something very fast maybe you never you never listen to that kind of speed or that type of text or never try doing listening test. If it's your first time, this SPM will be your first time to listen, then you are in trouble. Okay, so better to find any of the exercise. Even um, online, they have a Google uh, live worksheet. You just Google. You just put uh, for SPM listening uh, live worksheet. So you will get it. Then, then the audio is there. Just put your ear, uh, headphone or earphone, whatever. Just do the practice. And it will auto-correct for you and tell you what is your score. So just before the test, do some trials, okay? Get familiar with the accent. I won't say it's excellent for lumbaga standard. No, probably in the workbook, you can find some of the qualities a bit full of accent when they speak. But lumbaga one, they'll be very fair enough, okay? If you have problem in understanding the way the audio track sounds, 
that's a sign that you have not done enough listening. Okay? <clears throat> now, the timing. So total timing will be, the test time will be 40 minutes. So you'll be put into the room roughly about uh, one hour, uh, but maybe uh, first 10 minutes you go in, you be ready, you sit down. After that, 40 minutes test, and then another uh, 10 more minutes for the arrangement for you to come out and all that, okay? So totally roughly will be one hour in the room or one and a half hour, maybe your teacher want to brief on certain rules, okay? Okay, it's here from the minute, 30, 34th minute until the 40th minute. It's mean uh, approximately like uh, how many minutes? Huh? Six, seven minutes like that. You are required to transfer the answers into the answer sheet, the OMR answer sheet. Okay, OMR answer sheet, it's a, you know, the paper, the computer paper where you have to <clears throat> blacken the, uh, the, the space. The answer space, uh, you have to do that. So if you want to there and there answer and then there and there want to do the blackening, you won't have much time. You have the tendency to miss the listening text. Okay, so very risky. Don't do that. And then uh, uh, use only a uh, pencil, you know, the 2B, whatever B, like the darker one. Okay, do that. Don't use pen because the OMR, OMR paper will be marked by a machine computer or something like that. I don't know. I I yet to see a physical machine in my life yet. Okay. But I've seen the pictures. So what you can do, better follow the rule, use only pencil. Because last year, previous years, there are a lot of issues like they circle. It's already the space and then the circling. How the computer going to read the answer? Okay. Because the setting is it only tracks the blackened part. Okay. So you, oh, you shade it properly okay and then don't shade it until you create a hole if you have damaged the paper you have to inform the teacher but please don't do all that okay you just like and don't don't press until it damages the paper okay and then if you see the omr sheet i don't have the exact example it will be front and back both side so it's mean when you follow answering like one until certain number. I can't really remember how many, uh, 20 something, uh, also 20 something. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, you see the objective, you blacken it. There will be some part where you have to answer the words, you know, you have to write the words. That one, you don't put at the ABC there. You see the number of the question, the item, you see the other side, beside ABCD, all the answer, there's one space for you to write that answer. So those questions that you have to fill up with ABCD, you use that ABCD part. If that question, that part, no ABCD, but filling in the blanks or answering with my word, that one you use the space part. I think you have done that in your school also. So if you're not sure, you can please check with your teachers. They can show you how OMR paper will look like. Okay, school might have uh, copies, but maybe not exactly like what SPM, because SPM one is like a uh, control paper. So they cannot simply share. All right. So this is the blunder that you do. You will be answering it well, correctly. But then end of the day, error is made. Your own silly mistakes. Okay. So that is one. Okay. Let us go to part one. Part one, there are three options for all the questions. And there will be total of seven questions. It means seven marks. So each question will have one type of audio text. It means you'll be listening to seven audio texts and it can be unrelated dialogues or monologues, okay? All seven not related to each other. Maybe A, talk about dinosaur, B, talk about rabbit, C, talk about teacher prima, D, talk about you, okay? Something like that. Different, different texts, all right? So listen carefully and then you answer. Okay, after that, the feature of the text, some of the feature of the question, eh, this part, huh? Audio text, seven different situations. As I told you, they are not related. There is one, three option, multiple choice question per situation. Okay? So whatever you heard in question one cannot be answered in part two. Okay? And then the options consist of one correct answer and two distracted. So I think this is the very, uh, this is a better term to use rather than wrong answers. Because wrong answer, you can spot the word. And uh, frankly telling the answer 
can be spotted throughout the text. So it means the correct answers, words, the phrases also will appear in the text. The distractors also will appear in the text. So it's not only listening to the part of phrases or words, but you've got to really comprehend the whole listening. Then only you can respond to the uh, I mean question to know which is the correct answer. So that is the trap. Similarly to your reading paper also. Reading paper, the first short text, same thing. They give four options, one correct answer, three distracted. Because all three, the words can be seen in the text. Okay? But sometimes I notice the correct answer, they are not word spotting. They are more of meaning spotting. So the similar technique, actually. you got to really prepare. Be prepared. Okay? Here, before you start part one, before the paper starts, uh, the teacher, uh, uh, will, uh, not teacher, the audio will give you the instruction. You have about 30 seconds to go through the part one question. Every part, they give you time to go through. And you don't sit there, look at the teacher, you know, Pagawas, uh, the one take care of the exam, smiling at them, trying to be kind, no need. <laughs> All right? The teachers know you are very kind, but don't have to waste your time. The 30 seconds, make sure all seven questions you go through, Take your pencil, at least bring two or three, underline the keyword as you go through. It's like scheming and scanning. You scheme and scan, just highlight. Highlight means you cannot bring your highlighter during exam. You use your pencil, highlight the keyword. It means when you want to listen, you can listen accordingly. You don't have to like spend time searching for the keyword that time. Because you are doing the listening. You are you're processing the listening part. And at the same time, you want to read and find the keyword you will be in problem. You may miss the listening. Okay? So, let us see how it looked like. I cannot scan the whole thing, then it looked very small. So, I took whatever enough for the screen. So, here, you will hear people talking in seven different situations. So, one, two, three, you've got seven total. Okay, here, what you have to do when the teacher say, uh, it's not teacher, the audio says, you have about 20 seconds, right? This is what you're supposed to do. Underline. And they still got time, go through, underline the answer, the keywords. Because they're almost near. I told you that distractor. Those time SPM, I mean, not those time, like two years ago, 2021. It's not 21, 20. <laughs> you are the 22, 22 batch. Huh? So 2020 batch, until then, uh, we don't really see distractor. We obviously can see wrong answer. Okay? So not that challenging. No, it's challenging. But it is not if you really understand. Okay, so underline the keyword first before the audio starts. The moment the audio starts, then go according to the flow. So here, if you see in the rate, <coughs> in the rate uh, writing, uh, before each part begins, time will be given to read the read to the questions. Uh, first listening, answer seeking, and then second listening will be confirming answer. So it means each part they will give you the time to read through. After that, the first listening, you straight away find the answer. The second listening is to confirm the answer. Okay? So, it's you may say, teacher, it's easy, I can do it. But many students heard, I don't know how they heard it or hear it, okay, or they didn't actually listen. They heard the, uh, the distractor as an answer. Okay? It happened. Because as a teacher i also do my practice in the classroom but now no sometimes a few months no uh but when i was in school i did that okay and i tr i sense the problem even the good student does that okay next part two huh? so part two here there are still three options a b c and then number of questions are eight okay and then the type of audio it's no more one question one uh, extract it's actually one whole long passage, probably a story. Okay, probably a story. You, I, I think most of the sample that I've seen in the workbook and all that, it's got more of na narrative. Okay, so we can't say. They also might have factual. So just be ready with whatever they give. Okay, let us see further. There is one long audio text for all eight multiple choice questions. The option consists of one correct answer and two distractors, or which is also known as wrong answers. The questions are arranged according to audio text flow. 
So you don't have the idea like, teacher, how are if I leave? Listen, uh, the answer for that uh, is in question form. And then second part, I say the flow goes, the answer is for the next question will be number, next flow will be, a sequence will be number one. No, they don't jump like that. Okay, because our brain doesn't work like that. So the forgot, understand that. Okay, so it is designed according to the text. You just follow. That's why it's very important to underline the keyword again. Okay, again, you have to do that. So one minute, you will be given to read through part two question. A bit extra minute, you know, one minute. So as you go, you don't sit and analyze the meaning of the word. Just underline the keyword, what they are asking. Okay, after that, you listen to the text. Okay, it's actually twice. Left. So first one is to answer. Second one is to Confirm the answer. So something like this. So there will be eight questions, but uh, I couldn't, again, scan the whole thing. Huh? So I just want to show you the example. So underline what is the text about. Skating, board, experience. Roy's uh, experience. Huh? And then the question, <clears throat> underline the keyword. If you have extra time, actually you will have if you do it fast. Underline the keyword. You got to highlight it. Our brain works like that. When you highlight something, it attracts. Like when you want to type message, people say uh, if you put capital letter, it's actually showing anger. Yes, one of the purpose function. But it also means to emphasize. Okay, so not always one meaning. That's why when you highlight it, it appears. So the underline will em emphasize the details. Okay, here before each part begins, Time will be given to read to the questions. Okay, next. First listening, answer seeking. Second listening, again, confirming answer. I think so far both okay. Only that part one, sub different situation. Part two, one whole text. All right? <clears throat> so you can ask teacher how to know whether uh, the, the next question come already or not for as we are listening. If you are asking that question, it means you never do your practice yet. Start doing Okay, as you do the practice, then you'll realize after how long you can see the text is going to part, uh, question the next question. Okay, so <clears throat> now part three. Part three, it's actually matching kind of question. You have to match the text that you heard with a description. You can see that in your reading paper also. <clears throat> part, is it part three? I can't remember. Okay, I think already you should know better. All right, so number of questions, there are five. And then the type of audio text, there are five short monologue texts. It's mean not dialogue. One person giving the description. Sheila is a person who blah, 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 they tell the description. And then a prima is a person that blah, blah, blah. So different people's description, maybe about their hobby, or they give description about books, Harry Potter. Uh, what something Narnia? I forgot the title of the movie. Okay, so all that they will give the short, short description. But the distractor is not in the option. <clears throat> the, disc the, 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 the distractor is in the text. Okay, they will uh, in the in the text plus the option. Oh, sorry, the option not to say not in the uh, what do you call it the option. The option will be seven. Okay, let us see. Let us see the example. Then it will be better. Uh, wait, I'll show you the example. <clears throat> okay, like this. So you'll be listening to five short extracts in which teenagers are talking about shopping habits. So you're going to, uh, going to listen to shopping habits tags by five different teenagers talking about it. So maybe first Ali will speak about uh, the shopping habit. Then second speaker, third speaker, they got five. As you listen, you must, <clears throat> sorry, you must identify which is the summarized idea of this speaker. Okay, speaker one, overall, after you listen to it, what they are, what this person is talking about. Must choose one. Okay, here got five answer, but then the option given are seven. Okay, there are two extra. Okay, how to identify the two extra? It's not, it's not easy at all if you never try speaking practice at home. Okay, what is the clue is, <clears throat> the distractor can sometimes be sound correct for another answer. That is the distractor. The, the, this, uh, this, uh, distractors are like uh, pengacau. 
they can be in this place, this place. If you sense that particular kind of choice, then he or she, I don't know who are, because uh, the, uh, the sentence, like the sentence is the culprit. They're going to cheat you. Okay? So that's how to know, teacher, whether you can fit in more than one space. Practice makes perfect. You never try, you never know. You cannot, you don't have the skill to identify the district. Okay? So for that, you got to do what? Before you start, they'll give you time again. Okay, how long they going to give? <clears throat> oh, yeah. They're going to give 30 seconds for part three for you to read through the question. Okay, then only you start listening to the audio first time and second time. First time to confirm the answer, second time to eh, not confirm the answer. Now, first time is to pick the answer, second time to confirm the answer. All right? <clears throat> so here, there are seven answers options. Again, as I showed you just now, the options are short sentences. It won't be very lengthy. Okay, it's short description only. And then out of seven sentences options, only five are correct answers. The other two are distractor. And the distractor can, as I told you, that is the trap. That is how the question is designed. They want you to understand, then we can find the distractor. If generally you understood, general understanding, you may trap into or you may, may stumble into a uh, district, okay? <clears throat> so here, let's see here. So as you listen, you try to later try this part, listen to the text, and then as you answer, don't stop. You go and see the two left answer. You take them and then take that two. You try to see whether the first speaker can feed or not. Somehow or other, it will go with someone, not all, with someone. It's me that is the strong district. Okay? You analyze that way. It's not only about answering question or trying to answer the question. Sometimes you have to analyze why is it like this? I thought this is answer, but that is not the answer. Oh, that is the distractor. Can you see? Okay. So that is the clue. How there is no direct way to identify. Okay? All based on practice. If you do the practice, you'll see more distractors than you know who is he or she. Okay? <clears throat> so, listening for. But for, huh? so here is a uh, note completion. Ah, one more thing. For part three, right? You have to write A until G here. So, but then you cannot write it over here. You have to write it on the, uh, what do you call it, the OMR paper. You have to transfer the answer in the end, right? Like about six to seven minutes. So, that time, you don't, uh, you use the A, B, C, D, the letters, but not right answer. Don't go and put that A, B, C, no. Okay? The objective part one, part two, you blacken. Part three also blacken because they don't only have A, B, C. They'll have A until the maximum here, G. Okay? If there is a G, lah. so definitely until G. So, for this, the five answers, you have to pick A, maybe E, and then D, and then G. Okay? So, darkening until part three. Okay, let's go into part four. <clears throat> so, the question type is note completion. Isi tempat kosong. So, there are about 10 questions. Uh, and then you only, answer 10 question answers are just a word, one word. If you heard two words. It means you have heard the distractor together. So you must consider which is the distractor, which is the answer. Okay? So just as simple as that. You've got to really be careful when you listen. And then it's a very long audio text about one detail, one topic. Okay? So here, <clears throat> the feature, a neutral or informal dialogue interview, candidate summary text with one word, Per gap. The words are now. Okay? So here, you will be given like one minute before they start the audio. You go through. So here, teacher, what to go through? Okay, let us see. Underline the, maybe the idea of the text. What is it about? And then why not more than one word? It's a, it's, it's an important thing. Eh? Okay, now what you have to do is, <clears throat> here I didn't put the highlight. You just check through the idea before and after. Before and after. The best, read the whole thing. Okay? So it's mean that as you read the whole thing, 
you just underline he was worried about. So that is the idea. It means something he was worried about. So you highlight, underline that. Being too small. So another clue. So usually what we want to fill in in between, it's depending on the information before and after. Okay? That's how it works. It don't come from, fall from the sky and you write the answer. Doesn't happen that way. We are not blessed. Uh, we are not blessed in such a level. Okay, uh, I think God wants us to learn in a very difficult way, so it become a good lesson. Okay, only the blessed one get things easy, right? So most of the time, we have to struggle. Those struggle, okay, those struggle with problems. They are the one who can manage situation well. Okay, so here, let's see all the blank you just highlight the idea before azlan had a chance to experience a different so experience a different and enjoy an evening walk so that is a second idea really yeah azlan's family a host family took him to a nearby took him to the nearby one something there. when they discovered he has interest sorry he was interested in the local team so that is a clue so you went somewhere nearby something related to local team okay so that's what you do. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Then the audio will start. It's easier for you to have the direction. If you've never done this method, you want to still remain with your uh, traditional method, which is be with the paper, smile at the teacher left and right. After that, the audio start, you straight away answer. Um, okay, no problem. It means you are very blessed. <laughs> you have the ability. Okay. Uh, of course, teacher try to be a bit sarcastic, not because of anything. Because I want you to get score, get the score. I don't care whether you're from uh, Pera or Kedda or Penang or Sabah Sarawak. As long as you do it in a way that you can score better, just do it. Okay? I don't pick my student. I only know two types of students, boys and girls. Okay? So, I think we have come to the end, but a bit more. Here, when you want to write your answer, right, in the OMR paper, again, part one, part two, part three, you have to black it. Part four, you have to write the answer. If you see the space, one side, it's ABCD. The other side, half of the page is, they, they, they divide it in the middle, huh? half of it is writing answer. So after question number 20, the 21 answer should be written on the other side. And you follow the convention of writing. So you avoid spelling error. One letter, wrong. You know, sometimes you have this mental block, friend, the word friend, very common. F-R-I-E-N-D, right? But we tend to put F-R-E-I-N-D. -E I think most of us have done that. Even I, when I was a student, I did that. And then the teacher called me and asked, why is this happening in certain part? I said mental block teacher. <laughs> All right. It happens lah, sometimes so with certain uh, uh, spelling. And if the spelling obviously giving a different meaning like price, P-R-I-C-E and Z-E, which one are you referring to? Uh, all that. Okay. So no mistake at all. Not even one letter. And then you, you are aware of uppercase and lowercase. So far, it's not really, uh, they, they are not strict about this the upper and lower, but it's better for you to follow the convention of writing. You see in the answer, it's in sentence, it's in sentence, right, form, and the blank is actually the capital letter word or small letter word. It is not the beginning, then it's it's not capital. Okay, that is your logic, but if you had written the first one capital, so far, they still accept, still accept, but Try not to do the error. I worry later they have a different rule. Okay, I'm not telling they will change. If uh, following the convention of writing, you are wrong actually. Okay, uppercase, lowercase in logic in the in the language logic, it is wrong. But in for for marking, still they accept. Uh, still they accept. Okay, and then aware of grammatical aspects like when you hear it right, the one with s. Uh, you don't hear the S and then you just put maybe students, but you write the student. Wrong. Teacher S only, yeah. For this part, uh, it carries meaning. When you say student, it's one. When you say students, it's plural. Okay, uppercase, lowercase doesn't affect the meaning. S and no S affects the meaning. Okay, so far, this is the important things that you have to bear in mind. 
Okay, here. So as I told you, you're going to underline the keywords, right? So you, when you go through the whole text, this is what you're supposed to uh, do. Highlight the keyword before blank or after blank. You're most of the time before blank, but it's not it's not harmful for you to look at the after after the structure also. Okay, and then underline uh, underline the details, left the keyword. All right. So demand, remember certain. Uh, I mean, you, uh, short reminders. Okay, uh, you have to remember. Go through the question and underline the keyword first thing. Eh, as I was telling just now, listen carefully for the keyword to the to identify answer. So when you already highlight it, you listen to it. Either it can be word spotting. Sometimes it won't be word spotting. It's meaning spotting. Okay. Next, uh, listen carefully during the first listening to seek for the answer, and then during the second listening, you need to confirm the answer. That is the uh, I've been repeating. Repeatedly, I'm repeatedly telling this to you. And then before each part begins, begins, time will be given to read to the question. Therefore, make use of the time by going through the question intently. It means given time, the waiting time for you to go through, please use it. All the kepala turun bawa. Not look at the teacher. Then checking on teachers, baju kurung bawa, nice kain lah. Next Raya, I must do. Next Deepavali, I must do one. Panjabi should with this material. Don't have that. Okay? At the same time, 100% focus on the paper. Next. And then stay calm. Focus in the listening while paying attention at the underlined keyword in the question. Frankly, telling the underlined me underlining method helps a lot. Not only you. Even teacher Prima. Okay? You give me the paper straight away. Listen, I cannot. I must go through first. Then only I can. All right, so just now I was like uh, telling about the answer sheet, right? This is not the real paper. I try to Google, Google, Google. <laughs> this is what I get, but not our Malaysian one, something like that. Okay, if you see, you can look at the screen. Uh, our, our OMR paper, they will have one side with all the shading part, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, until uh, G, okay? And then this side, following the numbering, they'll have one until 30. And then here, A, B, C, D here. This side, same row as the number, they have blanks. So it means those questions that you have to shade, you have to shade. Those answers that you have to write answer, you write here. It means the shading part, you leave it blank. Okay? Don't pande pande go and draw a line law and then you put uh, here already shaded, right? The one have to write the answer on the right hand side blank. You go and put the number 21, 22, 23, then you write the answer. You see carefully down there got 21 until 30. Okay, so please go through it. Okay, I couldn't get the real one. This is one. Uh, this is the one that I get. So it will be some sort like that. Okay, writing part. This is called the hybrid paper. Okay, Ka also got hybrid. Ansi sheet also got hybrid already nowadays. Huh? All right. So what you hear is what you get, right? So that is for a hearing. So listen attentively and do the best because you can do it. Okay, so we have come to the end. Speak. I mean, listening has no much a problem, only that you cannot, uh, if you don't listen, you have a lot of problem. You'll, you'll be losing mark. One of the paper that you can score is listening paper. Okay, so any questions so far? I think today no question. Lah. Huh? Very easy. Okay, no question means I'll stop. I don't know, my camera is automatically closing. Today, no mood to cover my face at me. <laughs> All right. So, any question, girls and boys? Please uh, get ready with your paper, uh, pencil. Uh, about three pencils will be good. Keep your sharpener with you. Okay? Don't be like very, oh, you know, one is enough. Always have plan B, C until Z. Life is like that. Okay? So, no question. We'll stop here. Oh, oh well, uh, thank you, uh, Alfie. Only use pencil, correct. No pen. Anyone? Question? Okay, no pen. Eh? Please, I'm so worried about this because it happened last year. They use pen. A lot of issues. OMR paper is only meant for pencil. Okay, any other question? I think so far, no, eh? 
if you have, I told you I'm going to open uh, the chat. Uh, so I'll, chat, I'll open the chat in the group. You can ask me questions and all that. Don't ask me what is coming up because I also don't. <laughs> all right. If you have, you give me. I also will sit 5 p.m. this year. <laughs> all right. So good night, uh, children. And uh, all the best for the coming speaking and listening test. Uh, for writing one, I will uh, I will actually uh, do class, not, not on papers, but maybe we will discuss on a sample question, how to find the distractor and all that. Okay? So sometimes you can't see the distractor. Like it, among us, we don't know who is our friend, uh, who are our friend and who are... Not, I don't want to use the word enemy, who are not. Okay, so we got to really observe, study, understand, a lot of things to do. So similarly, question two. All right. Yes, part four also pencil. Better. Okay, any other question? All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, take care of yourself, uh, eat good food, eat good vitamins, all, and then maintain your health. Don't fall sick. Huh? Keep uh, COVID away. All right. So good night. See you. Bye-bye.